Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we want to thank you for this day that all of us are still alive. It is not because we are too beautiful, but it's because of your love, care, and protection that you have given to us without no pay. We also want to thank you for the bread that you have given to us. And we want to thank you, Lord, that you have brought everyone who is here. He is all okay, and he has nothing, any problem. Gender and I work with an organization that has made this uh, possible called Topo Youth Mention Uganda. We are based in Kampala, Chisasi, Bahai Road. Now, I believe uh, any school that's going to be here is not a coincidence. We have been to many of these schools that are going to be here under uh, a couple of campaigns, but uh, mostly smashed. Yeah? We started out in 2017 doing uh, programs that empower young people to make healthy choices. Our journey has been now, I think, five years, six, six years, yeah, roughly. But it has, it has been actually one interesting one, given the fact that we as an organization, we are so interested in young people. So it's not surprising that we really invest most of our resources in, in, in equipping you with information, knowledge, and then such programs, so that at the end of the day, you can be able to make an informed choice for yourself. Some of the programs that uh, we do, they do range from uh, alcohol and substance abuse, mental health related issues, and then mentorship, just like the one we are having today here. A big round of applause, first and foremost, to the administration of uh, Chebambe Girls School. It's because of them that uh, we have this venue. It was uh, our prayer that one day we get to host such an event in Fort Porto. The focus is going to be on our mentorship programs and we had to talk about careers of the future. out into these groups so we can think, create and come up with unique business ideas. Before we start, how many of you think that this exercise was actually enriching and learning? Okay, that is very important. Without wasting any more time, that group there is going fast. 
Wait! This thing here has a use. What don't you know? What you're doing is very wrong. Collect those. Your recycling company shall tell you more. My name is Farida Fami from your recycling company. So of all, I bet all of you know what the word recycling means. The word recycling is like to use something that has already been used to make something new out of it. So this is what our company does. And our company helps to solve the problem of population. Like for example, when you use like a bottle of soda and you take the soda, you throw the bottle away in the soil. So it pollutes the soil and it causes soil pollution. So in Yola, we use plastics like bottles of soda, polythene bags, any kind of plastic as long as it's plastic. The company is called the Safe Hands Decare. So in our community, we are in senior six back, and in our community, we realize that most of the parents are working class. They go in the morning, they come back in the evening. But at most, most of the times, they don't have how to leave their parents. Like, they don't have how to leave their children. They either leave them at home alone, or they just leave them anywhere they find. So we decided, we as the Bakists, we are going to, we got a room, one of our members at the home, they have a free room. So we got that room and we decorated it. We bought, we bought mattresses, we bought dolls, we decorated the room to its fullest. So we, we advertised and told the community that we are going to be taking care of every child. Like every parent who is going to be working is going to leave us with a child. And we take care of that child for the whole day. And every, every child, for one day, you're going to pay 35000 What is the source of your capital? Where are you getting your capital from? We collected each 10K as our members. So each member of the company is contributing starting capital 10000 Yes. Okay? How are you marketing your company to your target Sis, clients? Sis to us in a community, a small community. We started in churches as the youth. We mobilized the parents and told them about our ideas. Where are you coming from? My friend, I'm coming from the hospital, but I didn't get any medicine. Can you imagine? I've been down for three weeks. Why did you even waste your time? You should have downloaded this app. I downloaded it on my phone. It is a medical app. Imagine a world with poor health. Imagine a world with no, with no human being. Ladies and gentlemen, we realize 60% in our community of the population prefers self-medication. And do you know the impact of this self-medication? Imagine, hospitals are very far away from you, but you are in your home and you're very sick. You don't have a friend to help you. How are you going to get those medical services? We as the Star Lake Medical Services, we come to you to extend medical services to you. Um, what problem does your business solve? Our company is solving poor health fa facilities. Lord Royal Telecom Services, uh, the problem we are solving is for communication, especially student-parent communication. Royal Telecom Services is a telecom company without masts, without a UNBS certification. It just works under MTN and Airtel and these big telecom companies. What, what product or service do you sell? For us, we handle communication, basically. Calling and receiving? Yes, calling, basically, because parents do not call. Proceed. Yeah. So, for us, we work under these big telecom companies, like MTN and Airtel, because they are the biggest now in Uganda. And like I've told you, our case studies here at Shevambe Girls, so what we do, we just set up a room and we put our personnel. What he does, he buys minutes and SMSs from MTN or Airtel. And these students are going to approach him. And uh, a case in point, minutes like an hour 25 or for 600. What we are going to do, we are going to sell each minute you use to talk on phone at 300.
Our company is called Waste Products Company. And our, our vision is to turn trash into cash. What problem does your business solve? It is solving a problem of deforestation whereby they are cutting down trees to burn charcoal so that they get charcoal to use for fuel. So we are making pallets out of organic, out of waste. And then... We made this group because there are many people who don't want to go to gym because they're fixed. Maybe they, they don't have, they have low esteem. They fear, they have fear that they're obese. They may be laughed at at the gym, so we are creating this company. It's an online company so that it silence. Provides, it company provides members. services to those people who don't want to go to the gym, and we will send personal trainers to their homes, workplaces, or anything like that. So of late, it has been published that 56 so 56 percent of women don't want to go to gym because they fear to be laughed at. So they lack self they lack self esteem and 36% of men face the same problem. What is the name of your business? Elite Mobile Training. What does your business solve? The business is solving problems like uh, people who lack time to go to the gym, we send personal coaches to, to their places of work, maybe to their home. Maybe people who, love, who lack self-esteem, those who are very obese and they lack that, uh, that they, ha they have fear that they will be laughed at. We, have, we send personal coaches to their places so that they may be alone, they train them alone at home and all that. My name is Alinda Judith. Chabambe Girls Secondary School is my school. I'm in Senior 6, doing History, Economic Divinity, Divinity and Submat. So thank you so much to POA for empowering me today. I've learned that choosing a career path, you need to be creative, innovative, inventive, and a serving point has to be part. So today, I've learned to raise my self-esteem through doing creative things and unique things. Today, okay, my name is Ahabiona Morris from St. Lawes College, Chebabe, and this is my colleague. Natalie Narita from Chebambi Girls School. Yeah, basically, the day was very good, uh, and uh, very good and educating. Good to, know a lot of, uh, good to know a lot of about entrepreneurship and learning skills there and there. Well, thank you very much. Well, for me, my day was great. We've learned many many skills from what they taught us. They taught us not to give up. They taught us to be creative and innovative. They uh, I'm Wendell Dan Philip from St. Louis, Form 6. Uh, about today, it was really a big, uh, good experience. I learned that a positive mind can really change your life. Never follow the negative minds around your environment. And if you do such, such you will prosper in all your plans. My name is Tusi Mekathe Patricia from Chewambi Girls Secondary School. Today's program was very developmental that I learned that whenever you're, cho you're choosing a, a, career, a career path, it has to be creative, it has to be innovative, inventive, and, and it has to be serving. So Today, our business idea was Apicare yeah. that was that was aroma was coming from a raw material of honey that was dealing with different products because a company that is diversified has different different products that it produces like our honey was used to make cosmetics treats through health and medical care and different other things however about our business plan we came up with a good idea that enabled us to emerge out as the best getting coaches that will train people to lose weight next to their homes. Hereby, we are providing an online app through advertising and many others to make sure that those services are able to reach to those people who can't access them or those people who are scared inside them. They fear that people will laugh at them. So to elaborate more about that, our, our plan, our company was called Elite Mobile Training and it is all about training those people who can't, who can't go to the gym, maybe long distances, Maybe those ones who, who have, who have be busy schedules, maybe those ones who are, who are best and they fear to be laughed at at the gym. So we created that so that we may send a, a personal trainer to his or her house to train that person from there. It is better because that personal trainer gives you maximum attention and all that. So that's why we merged as the, as the winners. Thank you, uh, Sopawa, 
for, for the support and the praise of even us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much to Powa. And uh, we thank Topoa for empowering us with these skills and making us believe in ourselves. Thank you, Topoa.